ready for your first lesson? Well, it's about time. Oh, no, 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 not that time. Oh, uh, well, that time was really uncomfortable for everyone involved, and I know you know which time I mean. I mean time as a value, not as a measure of minutes and hours. More specifically, time as a value relative to money. What's known as the time value of money. Oh, I, I don't, I don't know where I, that was weird. Um, yeah, so it sounds like a real yawner. All right, so let's get $1 today or $2 10 years from now. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yeah, and you're right. Um, as my girlfriend says, anytime I ask her for something, who cares? <laughs> Lovely woman. Well, let's go bigger. Let's say it's $100,000 today or $200,000 tomorrow. Ahahaha. Ah, 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 ah. Now I bet that got your attention. Most of us don't think about money and time this way. They seem to exist in different worlds, like peanut butter and scuba diving? I, how do you think I get the wetsuit on? I, okay, but they do fit together. In fact, you probably know this in the back of your mind because there's a good chance you've heard the phrase, a dollar today is worth more than a dollar tomorrow. And why is that? Because that just seems crazy. What? No, it's it's creamy peanut butter, not not crunchy. It's all natural, organic peanuts, not raised in cages. Okay, so after all, the dollar you spend today is no different than the dollar you spent last year, and it's the same dollar you'll spend next year. Wait, is that that that, that doesn't sound that doesn't seem right? What, oh, look at the oh, uh, right? Oh, no, no, oh, no. No, no, nope, 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 that's, that's, that's not right. And to understand why, let's play the Back to the Future game. Doc, you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? So uh, let's say you've won a $10 million lottery. You have a choice. Take one million a year for 10 years. 10 million, wow! Or pocket eight million today. What do you do? Hmm. Easy. You take the 10 million, because 10 is bigger than eight. <laughs> Always has been, even I know that. That's one million at the end of each year for the next decade. <laughs> what? Oh, no, that's, that's a bad choice, apparently. What do we have for the losers, judges? A copy of our home game and a set of cubic zirconia diamonds? Hey, they, they look real. My lady can't tell the difference. See, eight is bigger than 10. Wait, what? over time, and time is the big kahuna, baby! Our most important factor. We have a definitive 10-year window. So let's jump into that Back to the Future machine and reappear exactly 10 years ago from today in front of your bank. Oh, wow, I look fantastic. So let's say when you won the lottery, you chose the one million per year option and you were very wise. You put every check in the bank, earning 5% interest every year along the way. On the day you pick up your 10th and final check, you deposit it into your account, tell her hands you a receipt with your balance. You have 12.58 million. <laughs> Not bad at all. Pat yourself on the back. I, I, I don't, I, I never understood how to, how to do, oh, what? Oh, it's a metaphor. Oh, it's a metaphor. I'm sorry, what's a, oh, later? Oh, okay, sorry. But look what happens had you been a teensy, teensy bit wiser when you won the lottery and you'd considered the time value of money. You chose the $8 million payout and you stashed the cash in the same bank, paying the same 5% interest rate. When you show up exactly 10 years later, still looking great. Your balance is 13.03 million. Wait, what? You're more than $400,000 ahead by starting off two million behind? It sounds crazy, man. Mm, that sounds crazy. That's, that's some kind of voodoo math, I think. But that's the time value of money. Your full $8 million 
spent a decade earning interest, while the full value, your $10 million in annual payments, did not. So now, although a dollar today is always worth more than a dollar tomorrow, that doesn't mean you should always take an immediate payment, no matter how small it is. So let's do -si do spin your partner round and round, and let's go back to the Back to the Future example. If the immediate lottery payout had been just seven million, well, you'd be better off collecting your jackpot over time. That lower lump sum payout would only grow to just over 11.4 million. Ugh. You'd shortchange yourself by nearly 1.2 million. So our moral, time really is money. If you understand how time impacts the value of a dollar, you can make smarter decisions for the future of your money.